Hey guys, it's Andrew with Tractor Trailers. Me. I um, want to show you this house we just finished up for a customer. Uh, we just delivered it here and we're just we're setting it up right now. Um, I forgot to do a video of it earlier, so I'm going to do a quickie. Um, as you'll see, it's in getting set up stages. This is the model we call the Crystal Palace. And it's the same models we were just featured on uh, Tiny House Nation doing. So there it is, it's a 20-footer. It, uh, that's not including the uh, step in the back, so the trailer's 22 feet. But the house itself is 20 foot. Um, plus it has the little bump out on the front there, so. And you'll see inside that's where the sink is in the bathroom. It's triple axle, 15,000 pound rated. Um, we have two roof levels on this one. The cathedral style roofing. There's a little deck I was talking about on the back. Um, the one on the show we did, actually, we extended that deck to five feet. So you had a place to uh, set. Uh, here, let me back up a little bit so you can see that. It's really a neat house. has lots of uh, character. So you can see there. Walk in. And some lighting. There's our steps. This is our split level. Um, design we do so you don't have to crawl into a little loft or up a ladder um, He's got a couch. We're getting him set up in here. Just bought this little couch to put in You can actually fit a full-size couch in here and still have room for end tables on each side. Here's this kitchen um, Just basic Accommodations he said he doesn't need a whole lot not even a microwave or anything There's our mini split 64 degrees feels nice right now hot out here um, single fridge underneath, that's the 4.5 cubic foot. Um, on this one, I know it's hard to show with me actually holding the camera and doing the video at the same time, but we did a pocket door. And uh, there's me back there. Hey! <laughs> um, did a little cool sink in that bump out. This has a 36 inch by 36 inch shower, fiberglass two piece. Galvalume ceiling. Um, there's the full size elongated residential toilet, washer dryer combo unit. And there's actually, he could put a separate dryer up here if he wanted to, but he liked the uh, combined unit. Um, our moisture control sensor switch for the vent. Uh, you can see, let me back up. If you're standing in the bathroom against the sink, here's your view. Alright, alright, there you go, and um, I'm going to take you upstairs with me, join me in the bedroom, <laughs> okay, so you can see I did a, a little half step here, just to get into the bed, and even on the half step, it's about six feet tall on that very top, top of step, so you're not going to do the military crawl into your bed. He's got a air mattress set up in here temporarily, but it can fit a queen. Let me get back a little bit, see if I can get this in the picture, but it can fit a queen going this way or this way. This part here is 10 feet, so you'd still have three feet here with the queen. And um, up at the top, at the head of the bed, there's a cubby. This air mattress he has in here looks like it's about a foot and a half tall, so it's not not what's going to be up here normally but even with that he still has a lot of headroom compared to uh, a lot of tiny houses but let me back up all the way and then you can see even from up here from the very backest part of the bedroom there's what it looks like lots of heights it's about a 52 inch height in here so you got over four feet um, on your bed area and no ladder no military crawl into bed did that enough when I was in the military. Don't need to do it in a tiny house. All right, there it is, guys. Um, Major Bennett with Trekker Trailers. This is our first NOAA certified house, so we're real happy to have it, and our customer loves it, and that's what we like. Camp Happy, I'm your tiny, tiny house guy. Bye.